Hello, my name is Marian Andre and we are here at BMW boot at CES Las Vegas 2020. Behind me it's the BMW i Interaction is a striking prototype with a mind-blowing interior with technology that you can buy today. Let's find out more from Paul, the lead designer of this project. Hello Paul, uh, tell us why is it looking so uh, striking? Yeah, so this is our BMW i Interaction Ease, and what we really wanted to do is talk about the future of mobility once autonomy is commonplace. So that means taking something that's actually pretty abstract to us now and trying to draw people in. So that's why we have this form. Um, it's really to talk about the interior experience and what different ways you can interact once, uh, once there's no steering wheel. So once we have full, uh, full self-driving cars, there's not so much to talk about exterior? but the, the experience of the interior, right? Well, just, yeah, we're, that's what we're really focusing on for this show. So understanding that once the steering wheel's gone away, how do you really interact with this space where you don't have controls at your fingertips necessarily? So that's your, why you have this motto, change uh, the perception, right? Exactly. Okay, so change my perception, please. Perfect, so let's walk around. Um, looking from the outside, so we talked about this already, but this is a really abstract, monolithic form. And the idea really is to draw you in um, but it's also to make it a personal experience. And the way it's personal is that it recognizes you. Right now it's app-based, but this could be, you know, obviously proximity-based in the future. So as you walk up, um, once you're looking at the glass, sort of the Whoa. entire side surface becomes transparent. Whoa. So it welcomes you, it guides you in. Um, this is also a good privacy feature as well once you're on the inside. Okay, so now can you turn it back up yep. again, please? Wow. So instead of hearing that noise when you are, the car unlocks, exactly. you'll see this, huh? Exactly. Oh. And only you will. So it's only you triggering it when you walk up. The idea is if other people are walking up to your car, then it's still private. But when you walk up, then you get the full experience. Nice. So no more tinted windows. Exactly. <laughs> so if, if we walk around, um, really the important thing that we want once you're entering the experience is that um, we really have the intelligent personal assistant meeting you on the outside. So um, as we come around, you can actually see this new dynamic light carpet on the exterior on the floor um, really guiding you in. And the goal is that um, we're greeting you on the outside. Um, it's also for safety, so we understand sort of you know, where you're walking from and continuing that experience that you had on the other side really welcoming you into the experience. Uh, isn't this interior uh, so far off production? Doesn't it uh, seem like a, a distant future? Yes, so this absolutely is a vision of where we want to go, um, but many of the features that you see here are either currently actually in the parking lot here that you can demonstrate today in the X7-0G or in the i3 Urban Suite, um, and we really wanted to put that all together in one package to say, sort of once autonomy is commonplace, you know, what are these exciting possibilities that we might not be thinking of today? Should we go inside? Yes, please. Should I go first or? Yeah, no, please. Go ahead. Deci parchetul a început să ilumineze pe aici. Is this wood? It's a wood floor. Nice. So we really worked um, with the materials to make it as warm as possible. Yeah, sure. Have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. So um, we spent a lot of effort making sure that, uh, like we were talking about on the outside, that it was more of a, a dynamic, monolithic exterior. But on the ins inside, we wanted it to be super warm, um, welcoming, and human. So all the materials from the wood floor to the, the Bibora knit material um, is all really focused on the human experience and making it really comfortable and connected. So once we're in, um, it recognizes you. Hi, Marion. Welcome to the future of mobility. Whoa. When you're ready to begin our journey, tap here. So because we've physicalized the intelligent personal assistant, it's really guiding you around the space. So just as it greeted you and brought you in, now it's letting you know how to inter interact with it. So if you are able to press here. So I just touched the screen, the, the seat? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we wanted to incorporate touch. Um, there's obviously less touch surfaces here, but that's still a very human experience. Um, once you're actually in the mode, then you're, you're actually just browsing the city in front of you with your eyes. So you're using eye tracking right now, so you can just you can look to the left and right. If you point at it. So I just look at the, the icons and... Uh, 
Whoa. So you're just sort of looking at the city beyond and it's giving you points of interest and information that's relevant to you. Because the buttons will be so far from us in a self-driving car, right? Exactly. So how is it working? I see there are some cameras there and there. Yeah, so we have three different types of sensors. So this will be measuring your pointing. This sort of is for future development. And right now the eye tracking is, is within the dash. And how do I select? So right now it's actually picking up the microphone back and forth. But um, if you look to the left and point with your right hand, so then you select. So it's really browsing with your eyes. And it's working really nice. Thank you. And you, you can actually see. So this is actually recognizing your pointing right now. Oh, well, I just exited for you. <laughs> there is still some time left until your arrival. Would you like to watch the video you started? Yes. To adjust the volume, simply wave your hand left or right. So we incorporated voice as well as gesture and obviously gaze that you experienced earlier. And the idea is that you can either be pressing if that's more comfortable. If you're in a conversation, you don't have to use voice, but once it prompts you, you can use voice. So you can actually control the volume by moving your hand right to left. Why don't you try it? Whoa. It's working better than, a, or it, it's a better use case than in a, a BMW you can buy right now. Right, exactly. So, right. So, if in, in the experience that we're in now, there aren't controls near you. We want to free up the entire environment, no, and so gesture actually is needed, and it's something that you know we don't want to put a control close to you because that's cluttering up the space. So now I see that you have a huge head-up display there. <laughs> exactly. So um, this is a micro LED heads-up display. And the benefit of this is that, uh, as you saw before, when you don't want a lot of information, just like a couple icons, we have pre-augmented reality. When you do want information, then you get the full display. And this really is a full display. You know, this is sort of better than home theater entertainment. Um, we have the set extension onto the dash, so the intelligent personal assistant has transformed to take up the entire length of the dashboard to really make it an immersive environment. And if you look to the left, you notice that the glass has now become opaque, and this is really to make it private. So I can actually trigger that off again. And the idea really is based on the mode that you're in, You know, we can have something that's more focused, more private, and make it more personal. So I can make that back to opaque, and now we're sort of back in an enclosed environment. So should this be car be shared or bought? I, I think it's, it's, it could be either necessarily. There, there doesn't have to be an option, but it's much more of a shared mobility concept. So this is you know a personal experience that's on demand. So based on meeting you where you are and you're not really worried about it when it's not with you. It's a striking concept. How far do you, do you think it is from, uh, from getting one? You know, I think that this whole package, this is really about the interior experience. So obviously not even talking about the exterior, but, but the full autonomy, you know, we're, I think, thinking five, 10 years into the future. But a lot of these technologies are already coming into series production today. So the Zero G seat is in outside in a pre-production X7. We have iNext, which is going to have the eye tracking and pointing sensors. You can sensors. spend the rest of the trip relaxing. Should I make the space more comfortable for you? So if you yes, perfect. <laughs> if you tap again, I will put the seat upright. Oh wow, it's a bit noisy now, but it's a prototype. So, yeah. oh yeah, I love zero G seat. So we're now in the zero G seating position, right? And this is something that, um, while absolutely sort of futuristic, is completely part of our production plan. So we can sort of really lean back and relax and you take all the sensors that we had and it really sort of falls away. So not really about the technology anymore, it's about the experience you have. The soundtrack that we're listening to is composed by Hans Zimmer, mm -hmm. particularly for this mode. Mm -hmm. um, sort of thinking about absolutely you can connect all of your data, your Spotify accounts, you know, any cloud account that you want to listen to. But what if we design something specifically for this experience? So Feel, it feels like I'm on, uh, in, the, in the future now. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, interstellar soundtrack. Exactly. So show us um, something else. So I think um, the main thing is when you press again. So I'm touching the seat. Yep. I love this technology. We've reached our destination. I hope you enjoyed the experience traveling with us. We will see you soon. Sort of maybe 
the most important part if you're in a shared mobility situation is getting in and out because you're always doing that. So we want to make sure that that's a super open experience. So the glasses become transparent again. We're greeting you, you on the outside and showing you to your destination. So it's really about connecting you to the next step of your journey. So um, we are f um, like 10 years away maybe at least for this kind of interior, but everything, every technology from here? Exactly, production exists. and pre-production right now. Um, either in series cars or going to be as of 2021. And for the next BMW models, we will gonna see some uh, bits of pieces from here, Absolutely. like on INEX, you said. Yeah. And uh, okay, I can't wait. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.